Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video. About to react to episode 3 of P-Valley. As you can see, I'm very caught up, just like all y'all. I'm watching the show, um, catching up week by week, for sure. It's not like there's five more episodes to watch, or however many more, I don't know. But I'm on episode 3, I just watched it. It's pretty dope. Uh, what happened? What do I even remember? Let's see, what do I remember? So, Autumn Night was fucking wild, and as usual, she's still an alcoholic. She's still... I don't know, did she fuck? Yeah, she fucked Andre. She was wilding out. Um, Mercedes was still doing bad bitch shit as usual. She broke up the party. The kids was having a party. Uh, the kids that she trains with, the dancing, they were having a quote unquote bad bitch party. And she told them, don't have this party. You're going to regret it when you're older. You're seeing these clips online. And then the kids are like, why would we regret it? You're a stripper. Why would we regret that shit? And then she's like, yeah, but I get paid to shake my ass. You're shaking your ass for free. I don't know if that's really like the point for her, but I guess that was the point she was trying to make. But anyways, so that happened with her. What else happened? Gidget's man came to surprise her at work and the girl whose man is beating her up came to surprise her at work as well. He had one rose. Um, other than that, what else happened? Oh yeah, Uncle Charlie and like Uncle Charlie and like Uncle Charlie and like Uncle Charlie and Who? Uncle Charlie and Lil Murda kept flirting together. Uh, the DJ was teaching Lil Murda how to rap and shit. And all this stuff was... Did anything really interesting happen in the episode? I wouldn't say so. Nothing really interesting. Nothing notable. Nothing made me say, oh, wow. Like, I was a lot of... I would say this is a filler episode. If out of the three episodes that I've seen, I would say this episode is the most filler. I didn't really gain much... Um, quote unquote like Keisha Savage Autumn Knight was doing some type of fraud shit she got a bunch of stacks she did a creepy ass face at the end of the episode a creepy smirk I took a video of the smirk I'm probably gonna insert the smirk right here if I can insert video in video I'm gonna put it right here you're gonna see her smirking with her creepy ass but anyway so that's Autumn Knight fucking what else happened though yeah that's about it Uncle Charlie ended up talking to Andre about how Andre is planning to, with a bunch of other people, turn the city into like a casino and all this shit and destroy the club. And Uncle Charlie's like, nah, don't do that shit. His name is Uncle Clifford. I don't know why I keep saying Charlie. Fucking, um, yeah, but he's like, yeah, don't do that shit. He's like, you're gonna do that over my dead body type shit. And he put his man voice on. Normally he talks like a bad bitch, but then he put his man voice on for him. So yeah, that's all that happened. Filler episode, nothing that interesting. Hopefully the next episode is better. Episode 4. Uh, let me know. I have a couple questions for you guys. Let me think. Well, how do you guys feel about Autumn Night? She has an alcohol problem and shit. She's broke, but she just got a lot of money. So things are turning up for her. She embarrassed herself at a club. Like, How do you feel about Autumn Night in general? Let me know in the comments down below. And another question. In terms of Mercedes and when she told the kids not to throw the party. Even though she was a stripper. Do you think that she was right to tell them not to throw the party because they're gonna regret it when they're older? Do you feel she was right in saying that? Or what would you have told the kids? Let me know in the comments. And yeah, let me know what you guys wanna see next, what other type of videos I should make. Uh, let me know how I can make these videos better. And that's it, all right, peace. Dog, tell me why the fuck she smirked like that. 